Hey Subbies, how y'all doing? I'm back with another haul. I went to Leeds today and today is the... Today is the 10th of January and I went to Leeds, yes, again. Today I went to Leeds on my own. I'm so happy I went. I, I loved it basically. It was so quiet. It was unbelievable. Lush, I went to Lush and I was the only customer in there. And then I went to Poundland, it was dead in there. Primark was dead. Everywhere I was dead. It was so nice. I went this morning at 9.52 train going to Leeds, went shopping and then came back on the 12.02 train which got me home for quarter past 12. I loved it in Leeds today. I'm so pleased I went. It's like I haven't been to Leeds on my own in ages since like way last year. So it's like I really like I feel very accomplished in myself again. But it was just so relaxing. I have just... It was like a stress reliever. It was just so nice to go leave on my own. And I had my music on for once in my iPod. I haven't used my iPod in months. So that it's actually, I had to charge yesterday my laptop. And it took quite a while because I hadn't been charged in ages. My, his camera's not on the right angle for some reason. And ooh. Yes, I'm back on my Canon because I haven't charged a Panasonic yet. But I actually listened to my new CD all around Leeds and I listened to it twice through because I didn't put the second CD on so I listened to the first CD twice all the way through but I've been to Poundland and Primark today I did go to Lush and I did get my, my mum asked me to get her a gift box from her gift card that I got her for Christmas and I did but yeah let's get on with the haul so before I start this, um, I only spent my money at Poundland, whereas at Primark, the money I spent at Primark came off my gift card I got for Christmas and also River Island, I forgot that I went to River Island as well. So Primark and River Island are the places I bought off my gift card, for my Trinity gift card, whereas I only spent my own money at Poundland. So I obviously, as I keep saying, went to Poundland. Um, I didn't have to spend much, I wasn't... I also just got went to Krispy Kreme as well. Um, I also went to God's Gobstoppers and also Boots. So there's a few other places that I went but I will be show I will be telling you what I got from Gobstoppers and what I got from Boots at the end. Uh, let's just no I went to Poundland first. So Poundland I am stocking for these basically because obviously they're on they're not an offer but uh, like Morrison's and they're two quid for six packs. Obviously a pound a pound land and I have got a lot of crisps in my wardrobe but it's just so that I've sort of sort of put down and I love these crisps and you can't get them anywhere else which is that cheap. The last thing I got from Poundland, I only spent four pound at Poundland. Um I got my my granddad some licorices because he gave me a lift to the train station, lift home from the train station. I also got myself a money box, this is for my holiday money. As for once in my life, for the first time in my life ever, I have filled up a piggy bank. The piggy bank that I got years ago from a friend for my birthday is full and it cannot fit any more money and these will. So I'm going to put all of the coins in there from that piggy bank and put me this one for my holiday and this one just says first class money box. They didn't really have many left. Um, they don't have any ones in Pound World and Geisley. Unfortunately, I really wanted that holiday one, but they only have this one and fir another first another post stamp, so I wasn't really bothered. So I'll be re and that was I also bought them set my granddad licorices. Licorice all sorts. So I spent four pounds at Poundland. My bag has got that many blobs of um I wore them on your gloves today for my mum and they are very, they just need to wash because the fabric, I don't know, what would you call it, the fluff of it has come off. So when like, I took my gloves off, it just fluff everywhere. But I went to Krispy Kreme and she didn't give me a receipt, which is annoying. It was £5.30, I know that. I got five donuts. It was on my rewards card and I have offers and I got an offer booklet the other day and one of them was a buy a free box, get a box of free donuts and get a pound off. So I used that one and then she said, you have got a couple of offers on here. You've got bow and get for a donut or bow and get for a drink. And I said, I'll just get the donut then. So I got five chocolate sprinkle donuts. I've already eaten two. I'm good enough. But I will be giving one of these to my brother and my mum because I won't be able to eat them all. 
I will be able to do another one today, but I just don't want them to go to waste, knowing that they don't last that long. So, the chocolate sprinkles, crispy creme donuts, I love them. And I, th I thought, I was the only one in the shop as well. Um, so it came to £5.30p in crispy creme, but she did give me a receipt, which really does annoy me, because as you know, I, all, I add up how much I spent each year. So, yeah. Then, it is on to Primark! Right, I'm going to put River Island stuff to the side. Primark, I basically started to top up, like, actually top up how much I spent, but in the end I just threw it into the trolley and got a chill and didn't care how much I spent in the end. So, in Primark, I spent £39. I have £1 left on my Trinity gift card. How convenient. So, I got... I'm in need of pumps. I got basically 10 pumps for 5... I got... <clears throat> these. They don't have the ones that... Oh, I just realised they actually are the ones I wanted. Yes, they are full-sized ones. I'm so chuffed to got these now. Got, there were like pumps that would like come up to here and I don't really like them. I just realised these are actually full-sized pumps, which I wanted. Um, which is quite amazing. So these are the ones I've had before, the floral ones, basically the other ones have like wrecked. The ones I got from Primark, or as I don't know, the sole, the actual sole has cracked to the point it's got to the fabric. And when you send puddles, you just get a soaked sock because it goes all the way through. These are three quid and they do, and they are black, but they go black goes with anything. They are the floral pumps and they're £3 each, so I bought two pairs because I know how quick Primark's. Shoes go, I go through Primark shoes. Oh, I've got a very... She knows. Next is all tops. Oh, I'm so chuffed how many tops got today. I was looking frantically for them. Like, you know this top, which I've got on now? This one, the this pink one, is from Primark and they were 2 50 I don't go to buy for my tops anymore because they're too expensive, whereas Primark, they're 2 50 each. And they're just really nice, nice spring tops. I was looking for them in winter. I was looking for them last year, like at Christmas time, and they weren't there. They put them back at shop, which I didn't know about. So today I actually looked around and I found them, and I was so chuffed I found them. So I've kind of bought a lot of tops, but I need them because the other ones, like the watermelon one, this one's fine, but the watermelon one and the other ones did go to either to charity when I've washed them or in the bin because they are too small for me. I'm a size 12 now, so yeah. I got quite a few tops. The first one, no, it's a Clarada is this white background with fe black feathers. They are they are all size 12 and they were all 250 each except one of them which was a bit extra. They're just nice basic tops and I prefer these ones to the basic one colour top as they are just a bit more they're just a bit more in your face and this is not gonna be a try and haul I'm sorry but I will be putting I will now what Probably what. But if I do take selfies in the top, I will show you. But yeah, this is just as I said, white background with black feathers, and the rim of the neckline is black, as in the back bit, not that bit. I don't know. I just I like this one. It's really in your face. Two fifty. As I said, they were all nice and sorted out until I kind of went and because obviously they put them in eight, ten, six. 10, 12, all the way up, don't they? And now um, I'm in 12, I'm just like looking for the green colours, the green labels. But they also have this sticker, which is quite a bit weird. It says O E K O, Tex, Confidence in Textile, Standard 100%, Tested for Harmful Substances. Like, what? You kidding me right now? But yeah, got that one. Got this one. This one just says New York. It's not as bright as the other one. It says New York City. It has the same sticker on. It's got New York Girl, Gang, Coney Island Queen. I ain't got a clue what that means. Brooklyn, Love Heart. It's just, oh my, it's just like a nice basic top. White background with that on. I'm just trying to get them back nice and neat, even though I'm putting my wardrobe. So I don't really bother about that, but yeah. 
there is one that I'm absolutely love to show you. I've got this grey one with butterflies which says set yourself free, get free, fly away, let's go. Just all these cute little butterflies with a grey background. Exactly the same size and price as the other ones, 250 size 12. So as you could tell I hoarded. I kind of just went onto the t-shirts and just hoarded all the t-shirts. Got this one which I didn't really, really realise what it said until I looked it and got home. And this one is, is a, like a very dark, it looks black on the camera but it's dark grey. And it says, Fleurs, 99, 89. I haven't got a clue but I only saw that writing in that bit and I just got it so. As again, 250. I needed tops as I said. I just I needed tops so much because... I am out of tops. This, which is quite cute, says mine, love, love hearts, diamonds, crowns. It's really cute. White background with all these little designs on it. The next one is the cutest though. This one was a bit extra. This one was, was it three quid? No, this one was four pound because it's the official Disney. Well, it isn't obviously the official Disney, but it's Primax Disney, um, Disney, what would you call it? The Disney section, which is on the same table, but it's pound fifty more. And they had a Mickey Mouse face, like a really big Mickey Mouse face. All I had was size 10s, and size 10s are a bit small for me now, so I got this mini one in size 10. 12, it says Minnie Mouse, original, 1928, and it's just so adorable. The official, like label and everything i love this it is so blooming pretty like look so cute i love this one so i was like yep I'm getting that then i saw i got these these just a pack of 60 bubbles basically because i needed them and these ones i got from poundland are too big these ones are like extremely thin six pack for a pound needed them then I got some more socks because I need some more spring slash summer socks as the other ones were all black for work and then the other ones I got like they've had for quite a few years so got a new pack of socks which comes with white background with black love hearts, pink, pink and white, grey and black with pink stars. I also got this. Now this was in the sales and I actually like the look of it but please tell me in the comments below if it's a jumper or a top because I'm a bit confused. This is a it's a blue long sleeved. It looks very blooming blooming dark on this camera. It's a light blue. I will tell you that now. It's because it's pitch black outside nearly. It wouldn't tell you either which is a pain. So this is, as I was saying, a long sleeved top slash jumper. I don't know what it is. With butterflies on. But on the back there is a zip. I think it's a jumper, but I don't know because it's a very thin material, so I don't know if it's a top or a jumper or not. Please tell me in the comments below. But this was on off, this was on sale, and um, they've got a massive sale at Primark, but there wasn't anything I particularly liked. Um, I was looking for more tops than anything else, so I looked at this and I liked it. So this was from eight quid to three pound, and it doesn't say what it is. It just says blue medium. Which, I, I want to know what it is. I want to know if it's a top or if it's a jumper. Because I like it and I think it's really cute. So please tell me in the comments below what you think it is. Then, that's from the trip that I'll tell you anyway. So, I went actually, when I came out Primark, I went to Cobb Stoppers. But then I went back into Primark in the end because I didn't want to go home. And they have a gym section, kind of like lifestyle section, like sweat sweatshirts, the gym stuff like gym accessories and gym wear but they had these jumpers and this one just jumped out at me this br like just white top and it just says in the middle, slap in the middle says here comes trouble this is so me, so when I saw this I smiled I was actually going towards checkout um, just to look at this stuff at checkout so they have all the accessories in the checkout like the lipsticks and everything even though I'm not going to get any of them and then I was like yeah I'm going to get it and it just says here comes trouble so this is perfectly me. White top, here comes trouble. Me, me, me. Size 12, this was £7. I really like it. And it even comes with the pockets and also the, what would you call these? 
these here, the, the hood pullers, because I don't know. A nice hoodie, I love it, here comes trouble. It is really thick as well, so that is going to do for when I need jumper. And then, at the checkout sale, I have bags. Loads of customers come in to Sainsbury's with Mini Mouse bags, and I ask them, where do you get them from? I get them from Primark. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, it's so cute. This is the Mini Mouse bag, it is really big, and it's a canvas bag. It is huge, she actually asked me, do you want me to pack it with this? And because I knew it was drizzling, I was like, nah, I want an actual Primark bag. So this is Disney's um, merch at Primark, and it is all Minnie Mouse faces. Oh, I'm gonna use this so often, it's so cute. This is three quid, and I just couldn't resist. I've always wanted a Minnie Mouse bag, so when I saw this, I was like, that's in my basket already. So I spent £39 at Trinity at Primark, so that's where I got um, all of my stuff from, which I was aiming to get all from Primark and away from the um, gift card, for a Trinity gift card, because I knew I needed tops and I just saw a perfect opportunity to get the tops and clothes and stuff. So that's what I spent at Primark. Um, I also went to River Island, oh, there's more stuff there, and at River Island I had a gift card. They didn't, they had a sale, but it wasn't big. It was big, but there was stuff in there that I didn't like at all. It was too warm, and I think I preferred to go into River Island with someone because the stuff there is dead expensive. Like, it's a sale from, the stuff there saying only £40. I only had £20 in the gift card, and I'm going to change to put it towards it. So it was like, ah. Uh. But I did see online that they had, they have, like, month, birth, Birth month's jewellery, and because I like this eye necklace at the moment, I saw this online and wanted it. And unfortunately, you can't get you can't use gift cards online at River Island, so I got this July friendly and witty necklace, and this was eight quid. It is a long necklace, and I thought it came there is as well, but it didn't. It's just a ruby. That was eight pound, and then at the checkouts, I saw this. Look how cute that is for me, but you what? I hope I wished it was just all cat faces, but it has to have the logo with the bob cord, doesn't it? But I can use this when I go to the shops, even though it's River Island, I don't care. This was three quid and it isn't as big as the one from Primark, but it is cute. I just loved it because the cat faces and I love cats now. I absolutely adore cats. So I spent eight eleven pound at River Island, that means I've only got £9 left in the gift card. Then I also, as you know, it's Gob Stoppers, the Bob and Brothers, some extreme smash ups. Um, what they're called? I forgot what they're called. Warheads, that's it. They were two ninety nine, and I got them from my brother. And then I went to Boots and I got a meal deal which was ham sandwich, um, baked crisps, and a bottle of water that came to two seventy five. And that's all I bought in Leeds today, guys. So remember to like this video, subscribe, comment below. Also, comment down below what is that blue top? Is it a top or a jumper? Please comment down below because I need help with that. Because I didn't, it didn't, I didn't even have a thing on it to tell you what it is. So, yeah. I hope you're all well as well. But that's it, basically. Um, I've had, as I said, a great time today in Leeds. I just enjoyed it so much because it was so relaxing. I had my own carriage on the way home and I was listening to music. It was just perfect. Even though it was drizzling, it was perfect. Just me on my own to just relax and just to go out and explore. Like, my, new, uh, my new year resolutions, one of my new year resolutions this year is to go out more. Like, even if I go to the shops, I mean, I need to go out more, explore more. Like, Go more adventures. It's like I've been to Leeds twice in under in less than a week now. Cause I went Wednesday, with, no, I went Saturday with my grandma and my brother, and then I've been today, which is Wednesday, and I love Leeds. Like I just love how big Trinity Leeds is. Like I've put Trinity pictures on my Instagram from Trinity. They don't do justice. So you cannot actually get the full grasp of Trinity in a picture from the inside. You probably can, but you have to be like 
either upstairs in the cafeteria, like all the cafes are outside. But I just, I'm so happy with myself that I've gone out and actually gone out on my own and I've ventured more because that was one of my New Year resolutions this year. So yeah, I'm flying scrap up below. I thought I said it was rich and that, but don't. I love you guys, bring yourself a smile and I'll see you all again soon guys. Bye!